Bob Dupensky, th thanks so much for um, sitting down with us today. After so many decades of coming to the track, how does it feel to finally own the keys to the IMS? Well, you know, I have to look up in the sky. My dad brought me here in 1951 as a young kid, and to think that uh, I'm sitting here with you today, and yesterday uh, <laughs> we wrote the check for the Indianapolis uh, Motor Speedway and the affiliated companies is, uh, is amazing. And uh, it's through a lot of hard work. Uh, we have the opportunity, it's the team, people that work in our company uh, worldwide and have made this possible. And uh, our success here, you know, as, as a team, has really embedded our, our brand and ourself in this sport. And we've used the success here to build the brand and help build our company. So. You know, it's a culmination of many, many things, but more important, I think it's been a team effort, and I'm just fortunate enough to be able to be able to pull off, I hate pull off's probably not the right word, to be able to, to make this transaction, you know, meaningful and one that we hope that we can make a difference as we go forward. When the announcement was made in November, you said you wanted this to be more than racing. What does that mean? Do you have a better idea of what that means? Well, I think that it's one thing, you know, to have a race racing venue but it also what's the stadium what's the connection with, the, with with your customers with your guests and what i'm looking at right now as we go forward over the next three and a half months is what can we do where can we invest to make the guest experience better and then there are things outside the track that we can do from an entertainment perspective or inside the track can we have a formula one race can we have a 12-hour race or a six-hour race, things like that, so we can broaden the utilization of the track with big events. And as you know, with the Brickyard and the Indy 500 only 43 days together, mm -hmm. our, our focus right now on that is how can we take Memorial Day where we, we absolutely put the men and women in, in the military and the first responders on a pedestal, how can we bridge that all the way to the 43 days later at the Brickyard? So these are things that are constantly been in our discussion, but we've only had 60 days, but a lot to do. Do you have any initial, do you have any initial ideas for what, sh what could happen? What, do you have some ideas? Uh, we have a lot, share? we have a lot of ideas, and all I'm gonna say to you today, we're gonna spend several million dollars between now and the race, and I guess people like you will give us a, our report card. We're gonna get it pretty quick. <laughs> I have to wait 74 years, but we'll get a pretty good uh, report, but I think you'll be excited and, uh, the fans will be excited, and certainly car owners and, and the competitors, so that's my goal. Do you have any timeline for when you'll announce some of these plans? Yeah, well, we plan to make a probably a formal and now detailed announcement, uh, you know, with 100 days prior to the start, the start of the Indy 500. So that will be mid-February? Yes, for okay. sure. And you also talked about this being the, you want this to be the internet, entertainment capital of Indiana. What does that mean? Well, that means what can we do inside or outside the speedway? And I think there's people, planners, that look at these types of events and locations. You've seen what Jerry Jones has done down in, in Dallas, you know, with his stadium. Can we do similar things to that? And when we need to connect with those types of experts, you know, as we go forward, and my goal is to do that because a thousand acres, and there's more land available around us. The fact that we're in a city and a hub that's growing the way it is, lots of interest, lots of business. So I, to me, we need to make it, this not just come on May Memorial Day, but come, let's come every weekend. What can we do? We have some ideas on that too. I think one of the biggest questions a lot of people in Indianapolis are gonna have is, are lights coming to the speedway? Could we see some racing at night? Well, that's, that, that, that's a good question and we've looked at that. We've got to look, what's, what's, how's that going to benefit? We certainly don't want to run the Indy 500 on the light because that would be, we'd lose the tradition, wouldn't we? Now, stock cars, could we have a Formula One race at night? Do we have a 12-hour race at night or a six-hour? Those are, those are very good options that we're looking at for sure. And last thing on probably the, the racing note, you, you mentioned Formula One. Could that come back? Do you think there will be a second oval race for the IndyCar series? Do you think any of those things? Well, I don't think, we'll have, I don't think we'll have a second IndyCar you know, race on the oval. Certainly, I think that would take away from the 500. But certainly, the when we look at the Grand Prix, you know, it's terrific. I think, and we want to build that. And then we certainly have our our races with NASCAR. But I think these other big events could be very important to us down the road. And what do we need? Where are the schedule? All these things have to be timed on a on a broader schedule as we look at this. But 
nothing is off the charts, let's put it this way. Is there anything you're waiting on or depending on from the state or the city to make this happen, or is this you well, have everything Well, look, look, number one, we closed with, with great support from the state, the city, and the town of Speedway. Now we're looking at some things that we want to change that we do take permitting and, and take time. So we're right in the middle of those. That's why we today we can't say this is what we're, we're doing because maybe these things don't come to fruition. To be honest with you, you know, we've, we've been meeting with, uh, you know, with the city, you know, and the town of Speedway to discuss some of the things we want to do now. But it takes time to matriculate those as we do. Then I think by the time we get to Hunted, we're going to be, we're going to be in gear. Is there anything else I haven't asked you'd like to say or anything? Well, I just, I just want to thank all the fans that have supported our team for, you know, many, many years. And, uh, you know, the 18 wins have generated a tremendous brand value for me personally and all the people that work for us. And what we want to be is a real part of this community. And, and we want to give back. Those are some of the things we're also looking at. Where can we connect with this community where we can give back and know, hey, the, the Speedway cares not just to have one race, have the Super Bowl every year. What can we do? And that's something that I want to focus on also. All right. Roger Penske, thanks so much for joining Good. us. Appreciate it. Thanks.